So hi everyone. So I'm sharing my screen. Is it visible to everyone? Yes. Okay. So uh, last day we have uh, we know the uh, parent property of the flex. Okay. So which has uh, many things. Flakes, uh, justify content, align items, uh, and other few properties are there. Okay, stretch center. So we know how to how to place a element, a div, any 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 HTML element uh, on the page, left, right, top, bottom, center, middle. So today uh, we start with the flex property of the for the child child element. So let's start. So this is the main parent element fit flex box on uh, the same uh, code uh, I have kept for today. And inside that we have uh, eight element, eight child. So I'm going one by one. So first uh, I have add, already added three property here. So first is the uh, flex order. So what flex order do? So if I add any um, uh, order property and uh, to the any child element, it will place that order. That element place that order. So okay. So I have added. Uh, So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is in order. So now I add, I'm adding inline now to present it in a better way. You can add class. So see, uh, the order has been changed now. Let me remove this so i have or i have added the order property to the uh, to which one to first one let me add on the fourth one so i have added on or the uh, fourth property uh, fourth uh, child element and it comes at the last so what uh, i will share this uh, uh url to, to all of you it will help to understand you flex better okay so this is the order property what order property says so so order properties is controls the order in which they appear in the flex container by default the order is one by default the order is uh, zero initial value is the zero then we can you can add that one two three four property okay so one comes first uh one comes first uh then two then three this way so if i add two three see the if I add three order three to the two two, so two is comes on the last. Why it comes on the last? I think is there anything wrong? Height display flakes.
now the order property is not working so it should comes on the third third position okay the two will come to the third position then rest of the element will render so i have to check why it's not working properly i'm on flex it is the flex file Sponsor file that three let's delete that so order will uh, order uh, by order property you can uh, fix the order of that uh, element so uh, next is flex grow so what flex grow or oh, flex that is this uh, property defines that this item can be uh, grow so wherever you need uh, some uh, fluid structure so if any by any condition uh, uh, we need to remove any of the div then rest of the rest of the uh, area we, if i add the flow flex grow property to the child element so it will occupy the rest of the area when that divs comes in that uh, uh, dom it will automatically adjust again so flex grow property will working that way flex basis so the flex grow uh, the flex grow value is 4 uh, if, uh, you can put any 0 to uh, 9 and the default value is uh, 0 so let add let me add uh, flex grow style flex grow i am adding 3 and here i'm adding four so see uh it's three and it's two okay so if i add uh eight so if if you divided it uh half it will uh, one and that's that one part is uh, the width of this will three times the uh, faster one. So if we add uh, flex grow six. flex grow six, I am adding flex grow six on the fourth element, fourth child. See the six, the fourth element is double of first one because the first one has three and the fourth one has six. Okay. So this is the double of uh, the first, the first one. Now this way you, the whole thing, uh, if I remove the rest of the thing, so it will automatically add this step. So still the first one, the fourth one is double of first one. Okay and uh oh it's the second one the second one first one is three the second one is two and uh, three if i add it four for better understanding let me add four here so first one has three the second one has two third one has four and the fourth one has six First one has three, and the fourth one has six. So it is double of size. Uh, four is double of one, and three is double of two. So it will automatically adjust it. So if I remove the these two one, these two, okay. So this is three and this is six. So let it automatically adjust it the width. So now this is the three and this is the six and it automatically the layout is automatically adjusted the first one is again that uh, fourth one is uh, the this one is double up first so this way you can use the flex grow property so now 
let me remove the, this one. What happened? It will occupy the whole space. So by any logic, if you remove that div, OK, the first one, hmm, it will occupy the whole space. And on other page, by any uh, by the condition, you add that div, and it will then fit the width. So it is the magic of flex grow. So uh, the flex, uh, the flex, uh, the next property is flexing. The flex sync is uh, the opposite of the just flex group. So it can sync. Uh, the, the default value is one, then the, uh, the other value is uh, one to nine. You can add the flex basis. Flex basis is nothing but the same as uh, uh, flex group, but it defines the width of the element in percentage. So if I add flex basis, 50%, and remove this. So see the difference between flex grow and flex basis. Now the the other element does not adjust it automatically. So this is the thirty percent of the whole thing, but the others are same. It will not automatically adjust it. If I add flex grow here, the on the other uh, child element, it will automatically adjust it. I added just flex basis thirty percent, so the it is the thirty percent width of the whole thing occupied. So now it is same as that uh, the width property with flex flex. Now I added it sixty percent. So now this is thirty percent. This is sixty percent. This is the rest of ten percent. The total width of the container hundred percent. If I assume that's a uh, this way we can use the flex basis property. Okay. Uh, one more thing is uh, flex align item, align things. Okay. Align self. So let me. Uh, I'm commenting this thing. Remove this one. This one. So I added the property uh, justify content flex start. So what will it will do? It will align the the items to start from the left and align item center. It will align to the top. So now my, my requirement is uh, I need to position this Ford child to the bottom of the the parent container how we can do just we can do very easily so we have to add style not here you can add with a different class as well style so see i added the align cell property to the fourth okay to flex end so it override the parent property the parent uh, properties alignment and it's align 
itself at the bottom of the page. Okay. We can do the reverse reverse as well. So if I do this align items center, and the flex start don't use top or bottom flex start and flex end the values are flex start and flex end okay so this way with help of flex align cell we can position any we can override the position of the child element. Okay. So on the chat itself, I'm sending the URLs for the flex. So it has a whole guide for related to the uh, flex. You can go through that. It will help to understand better the flex. So flex is done. Any question for related to flex, uh, you can ask uh, yesterday's from yesterday as well. So flex property of the parent, flex of property of the child, anything. OK. So silent means no. So I'm going forward to the next part. So responsive things. So you all heard about the responsiveness of uh, application. So responsive is nothing but so whatever we can uh, we rendered on the application web application and the browser on the desktop that will automatically feed on the mobile as well as the smaller uh, the iPad the smaller screens. Okay. So whatever you see on the desktop that you will automatically adjust it on the mobile view. So that is responsiveness. So now I change the layout to iPad. So you can uh, you can change the, you can check the application, it is responsive or not. Just right click on uh, the browser, go to the inspect and click on the this icon. So it will uh, render the responsive view. You can choose your device from here. Let's. Uh, I choose iPhone X. Okay. Now, so is any can anyone can say it is this this application is responsive or not? Is it responsive? Yes. So. This is working on the iPad and iPhone. OK. So it is a response. It is a mobile first application. OK. So it will automatically adjust it on the mobile. But views are not changing. So it is a mobile first application. It is not fully responsive. OK. So this application is meant uh, for mobile first uh, with mobile first approach so it it, it is rendering on the uh, mobile uh, properly but is a not a responsive so let me give you an example with uh, okay so we are working on this application okay currently so this is a dashboard. I'm going to home page. So if I go to the iPad view, okay, then the mobile view. Let's go to the mobile view.
see uh, i am on the uh, iphone x application okay so if i go to the browser it looks like this if i change the device so it looks like so it is a actual mobile application okay so see the content are changing so it look like this okay so when i go rendered it on the mobile application it will automatically adjust it as well, on ipad as well okay on ipad as well as well as the phone so it is a not a uh, mobile first application so if it is a mobile first application then then it uh, this box are coming one by one inside but it's a mobile responsive application so it comes through the pro, you can read the pro, or the whole thing in proper way the font size are not changing okay even the uh, pop ups are responsive okay on the ipad uh, on the landscape view it will look like this on the ipad it will look like this on ipad portrait it will look like this so see it will automatically adjust it everything it will adapt the uh, device with size and changing its the uh, styles the width height font size okay everything even the menu item as well so on ipad landscape it has a side if i am going to iphone sorry iphone iphone portrait view see the sidebar menu is not here okay so how we can do that so to do this thing okay first we need two things okay uh, the first and foremost thing is uh, we need this meta tag on the head section how it works so on this meta tag we mention the viewport okay what is viewport so whatever user is uh, whatever the uh, area visible on the browser that is viewport so starting here to here that is viewport width and starting here to here that is viewport height so what is whatever the visible if i if uh, i am i am uh, using a laptop it has a 1366 by 768 resolution so the, my viewport is 1366 by 768 if anyone using a mac that has a different uh, resolution and different viewport that viewport may be uh, 2566 okay so the viewport will depend on the different different devices okay so different devices has different viewport so ipad ipad on ipad portrait view that viewport is 768 by 1024 on the landscape view it will be 1024 by 468 uh, 768 the iphone iphone has a, a 375 by 812 viewport so viewport is depending on the device uh, screen size but never uh, match with never compare the viewport with the screen resolution eh? both are different viewport and screen resolution these two things are different so iphone may have uh, 1024 by uh, 4, 1400 resolution but it has a viewport of 375 by 768 so don't match these two things eh? both are different so uh, so okay. uh, so uh, to response to uh, make the web application responsive we need uh, this meta tag okay inside that name meta what is this this is a viewport on the meta name and what is on the content i added with uh, device width okay so device width we are working on and the initial scale is 1 so what is the mean of initial scale 1 so whatever we are uh, we will we'll uh, see on the screen that scale is 1% okay if i do it to 2 okay so initial scale 2 so the whole content will zoom in double 2.6 so if i make it 1.5 so then the whole content of the application on the mobile that will zoom 1.5% okay so always make it 1 okay the initial scale and it has two more property maximum scale and user scalability so you can resist the user to scale the uh, mobile screen you all uh, you all uh, use the, the device and you 
whenever you can't see the small uh, for small uh, content on the uh, on your device you zoom that uh, screen okay so that is the user scalability so you can uh, we can scale that uh, uh, that scale that content but some uh, some in some area in some web application so user can uh, scale that property can't zoom so how that possible you use the user scalability equals to uh, none or zero so user scalability will be zero user can't uh, scale that uh, web page on the device you can do that with adding property user scalability here so uh, now i am going to so this is the first thing for the uh, making mobile uh, making the application responsive and the next thing is you have to add media query so what is media query media query is kind of css okay so the same thing just we need to uh, mention the the media function so um So this is the CSS function, uh, media screen function. Okay. So inside that function, I mentioned our uh, maximum width, the breakpoint. I added the breakpoint. So I added the breakpoint as 999. So how it will work? So when uh, we render the content with the uh, you know, in device that has a viewport width till 991. So inside that. Uh, inside this uh, inside this CSS uh, seed function, whatever we uh, write, that will that size style will applicable for that screen. So let's check. Uh, I added background color, okay. and I added uh, black. Responsive. No? Have to run that responsive. We are on responsive on oh, the styles that is email. Everything is working fine.
yes media query may which class we want to change to use that huh? yes come again media query may concept class may look change kind of who mentioned kind of oh sorry <laughs> मैंने तो सिलेक्ट ही नहीं डाला काम कैसे करें आई जस्ट इस टाइप सॉरी थैंक्स रूम नहीं सो सो मैंने सिलेक्ट ही नहीं डाला और अलर्ट डाल के चेक करूं क्यों नहीं हो रहा है सो सी यार this is gray okay now i am rendering it uh, on the ipad okay so the background color is changing to black how it's working because uh maine 999 ke niche jitna bhi hai wahan pe background color black dal diya or i can now uh okay so this is the background color under 999 so now i'm changing it to 46 and just picking up the random number so on uh, uh this is 1024 viewport okay so it is coming and the background is gray okay now it's uh below 999 uh, 991 okay 991 so it is uh now turned into black now i'm changing it to iphone x and change it to white So on different different viewport uh, with uh, specified set of uh, instruction, you can change anything. So you can you can apply. You just select that uh, select that uh, uh, selector or class or anything. Okay, and you can change the property. So if you if you use the max width property here, okay. So then you have to come from the upper level. so first you have to mention uh, that the largest screen then come uh, to the smaller screen if you do uh, reverse so minimum with so then you have to work on minimum with is uh, like if minimum with is 39499 uh, okay so minimum take one thing minimum width so this selector will work with the difference between minimum width and maximum width so th this will work on till the minimum width 99 so when when the uh, when the uh, uh, page is loading on the devices it's if it's minimum width is 499 then only this style will apply on that if the minimum width will be uh, 991 then on then only it, this will work okay otherwise you can use max width so both way you can use on the mobile first application they use the minimum width so if the minimum width is 1024 so then if this style, set of style will apply then what happen if the if then started from the uh, uh ipad tablet mobile device every screen has the same property okay so mobile on the mobile first app uh, mobile first approach uh, we use uh, the minimum width in on the other approach we use the max width so if we use max width we have to write the first the larger width then uh, come to the smaller width and here you can uh, use uh, both that uh, minimum with you can use the range 
okay like this uh, where we use i am giving you an example here media screen and mean width equals to 768 and the max width equal to 1024 and orientation in landscape so we have added three condition here minimum width will be 368 768 and the maximum width is 1024 and orientation will be landscape okay so if these three condition will match then this set of uh, css will implement if we change the orientation to landscape, okay, the landscape to portrait, and uh, this uh, 768 to 1024, uh, then it will apply on the portrait mode only. So this uh, this uh, set of CSS uh, take that device uh, width, viewport width, uh, the range of width, and the orientation, then apply the CSS. So media uh, media query is very powerful uh, uh, thing in uh, CSS. Okay. So okay, media screen and media thousand twenty four tablet smartphone. Okay, so all are done. So any question related to media query? Is there any way to understand uh, for means, uh, how to responsive all of the devices? Means, is there any specific standardization we have to follow? Uh, come again. Means, uh, is there any standardization? Means, uh, if I want to want a page uh, proper responsive, then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand mm -hmm. your point. So we have a standard view. Uh, we have a standard breakpoint. Okay, mm -hmm. what we check. So we are writing this way. The standard. The st you want to know the standard practice. Mm -hmm. What do you? So the mm -hmm. standard practice is mm, uh, the maximum width. So we write this way. Okay. So first we took. 1200 okay okay because uh for the uh we know uh, 1280 uh, 1280 so 1280 is the uh, for uh android tablet the resolution will be uh 900 by 1280 some something like that okay so 1280 is the maximum for the uh landscape view of that uh, android tablet then under that we mention 991 so 991 is a breakpoint okay so the android and the uh, apple ipad uh, ipad air so those portrait view is under coming under the 991 okay so we mention the 991 as a standard uh, breakpoint then uh, we have uh, we have uh, 472 uh okay you will get the break point here all the break point you will get here yeah see uh the 1400 then 1200 then 992 uh 768 576 and uh, five less than 576 so these are the breakpoints okay for the uh we have st we the standard practice you can use these breakpoints okay so a uh, more than 4000 per 1400 pixel equal equal to in the, all the larger devices or desktop or larger devices okay so less than uh less than 1200 or better uh greater than 1200 is uh on the 
um, tablet landscape view this is the tablet portrait view okay 768 to 991 is tablet portrait view greater than 992 means it's la uh, tablet landscape view so it will come uh, till 1200 so greater than 1200 to 400 is a desktop view and the larger one the mac and macbook and all these things okay and the this 576 and less than 576 is uh uh mobile portrait view okay greater than 566 is mobile landscape view so 576 to 768 576 to 768 is uh, mobile landscape view okay thank you any confusion anyone has any, any question no no okay so let's go to the uh bootstrap okay so i just give you a overview of the bootstrap uh, today very very minimal and so what is bootstrap so you can you can use this uh mm, you all have the you will you just start search on the google bootstrap if you will get the all details so i will give you a very basic overview of the bootstrap today So what is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is a uh, framework, CSS framework, by which we can uh, easily create the our web application using. It has predefined many kind of classes, element, component. It has predefined things. So just using those classes, uh, you can easily create a uh, web application very quickly. So. How it work actually? How uh, Bootstrap work? Bootstrap has many versions. It started with two, then three, then three point three, three point seven, four. Okay, five, then five point five, five point two. Okay, it is the latest version. So we are using currently five point zero. Okay, so it, this is the stable version. So go to the in, in, introduction uh, tab. You will get uh, these things. Okay. So start a, a bootstrap application or bootstrap is to use bootstrap application in your uh, application. Just copy this uh, entire thing. Okay. I copied the thing in the file. is the entire entire code here okay and let's run this so now the booster has been added uh, to the page okay so what is added see here the Meta tag has been added. Okay, the main file which we required to uh, for bootstrap that bootstrap min dot css that uh, CDN is added. Okay, and the JavaScript file the bootstrap bundle js, which is uh, required for the components, the drop down, pop ups, tool tips for those things you need this. Uh, it is a jQuery file. Uh, okay, so. We need the, we need just this file the bootstrap bin dot css and the bootstrap bundle bin dot js these two files you require to use the bootstrap if you don't need to you don't uh, want to use the bootstrap component js the js file you just comment this so only using the c if you want to use the css only then this file is enough for you just copy that that link from the bootstrap site every time you copy it it will generate uh uh, same link with different different reference so this uh, uh this refine will change okay every time 
so copy uh, don't copy on one uh, project to another project then this key, key will be same so just use copy from here and use use in your project so now you can use uh, now you can use the bootstrap on your project so i am let me use uh, i'm showing you uh, so layout so bootstrap uh, with help of bootstrap bootstrap has a basic grid system so what is the bootstrap grid system it has a 12th column grid okay so starting with uh, 12 column grid okay so so if you use uh, inside a row if, if you use column just column ah, just one column so it will uh, like fix it will automatically adjust it with width uh, if you column three column here so let me copy this entire code and paste on bootstrap see that columns are equally divided what i what is call 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 so these are three if i add one more four so this way so if i add four each column will be counted as a three if i add uh, six it will divide but uh, the 12 column is divided by into six so each column will be two so now if I am adding call two here. So I am adding a value to. Uh, so along with the bootstrap CSS, here I added my own CSS file. Okay. Where I add my custom, where I add my custom things, the custom CSS. So never, never edit the bootstrap mean CSS file. So you can't, it is a C, it is a CDN, uh, you can't edit. So if you download that file and uh, keep it locally, so never change that file, never edit that file. So whatever you can you want to change, uh, you uh, just change uh, through your custom CSS. So uh, uh, here I am adding what call a uh, background color. See, all column has call, but if I add div, So with attribute selector, I have selected the name, the partial call. So whatever class has call in his name, so it will implement those things, that thing, the column, column, column. So now it's gray. Now I'm adding it uh, five, call five. is five rest of the things are divided into equal three part so this is the grid system so you have uh you have forms here predefined form just copy the form and you will done 
you can use the, the you can use the, the select box you have to just copy the, the select box input group this kind of input group are predefined here just copy the code from here and you can use that you can use the these things also if you uh, added the uh, bundle js you can use the accordion and all these things button group so many things are there predefined okay so for the card, i am copying the card okay and i just paste that card here and i'm done card is here okay Breadcrumbs are here. You can use breadcrumbs, buttons. So earlier I I have explained these things: button, button prime, how to use button and button primary. Those things are here. Uh, these uh, predefined buttons are here. You can use uh, application, okay. nav bar, off canvas. Off canvas menu is uh, very useful. So, uh, okay. so you can use this off canvas for the uh, for the uh, mobile application, responsive application. On normal application, the menus comes on the top, but whenever you uh, go to the responsive mode, so you can use this uh, off canvas menu. Okay. So many things are there. Go through them. Okay. Tooltip are here. This is very easy. Just copy the code and paste it on your HTML, and you are done. So if if you want to customize anything, just go uh, to your CSS and use the same class and customize them. So like, mm, let uh, I'm using button primary. Okay. I mean, using the say all the set set up button. Copy. I added all the buttons on my page. Now uh, I want to uh, edit the on my as per my design. This primary, uh, this color of the primary button is different on my design. So how we can change that? Just nothing. We have to change dot. Primary, okay, and define your color. Background. On the primary, suppose you have on the primary, but you have two kinds of button. You use primary and secondary. On the background, primary button background, you have this color. So A primary button color has been changed so you can change the uh, hover as well and the all styling property so using the same classes so it what is the uh, advantage of using uh, bootstrap classes so it has many things uh, coming along with that like uh, it has uh, uh, where is this that? so it has this kind of thing the outline button you have you just change need to change the color of the primary outline button it has large button large property so you use the bootstrap button and you have changed the color but you want you have three uh, kind of uh, uh, size on your application just add the button small class 
Okay. With button primary along with that, and it will change the button size to smaller one. So all predefined classes are there. So you can use them. Yeah. It is a very good thing. So similar to kind of uh, bootstrap, uh, we have uh, many other uh, grid system as well. So CSS has the individual grid system. I will show you tomorrow the how without the uh, without using bootstrap, you can use easily uh, create the uh, responsive web application without even without uh, using the media query as well so without using media query without using the bootstrap you can create the uh, uh, responsive mobile first app mobile first approach with mobile first approach you can create the responsive application okay so tomorrow i'll show you that so go through the bootstrap once so you have a better understanding on uh, the all, all these things so we to help uh, to use bootstrap you have to just copy the link uh, css link and the, if you want to use the js as well the copy copy and paste the bundle js uh, file on your uh, html file okay and use them for uh, responsiveness you need two things one is that meta tag the viewport meta tag and other thing is the viewport thing so I explain how to use view to define different viewport. Okay, what is how you what is the difference between max width and min width? Uh, you can use the max width, min width condition, both condition, and even the landscape and portrait uh, condition you can use for the responsiveness. So uh, any question? I hope boot, related to bootstrap. You have uh, many questions, but uh, first go through the uh, bootstrap. Uh, site it has a, a, a great documentation uh, so when you go through that documentation you will automatically understand all the things so it everything is explained here okay how to use that uh how to handle with the uh, different different functions and different different uh, uh scenario states all our javascripts are all also here you can use this uh, uh javascript working on that So anyone has any question? Otherwise, we will uh, conclude the call. No good. Not good. Nothing. Thank you, everyone. See you all tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.